Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan, and today I'm planning in my mini happy planner for, oh, these dates are wrong. I just noticed that I must have taped this last week onto the wrong page, because this says the 17th and this says the 30th. So, my dates are wrong. We're going to have to redate it, but that's okay. We will make it work. I'll actually do it with these and it'll be super cute. So, I'm going to show you how to redate a planner if your dates are wrong. So, that's what happens, I guess, when you Franken plan, you might mess up. We are going to start, let's actually start, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and we're going to trim this because it's like it's not lined up perfectly straight. Okay, and then the bottom as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now that I've noticed that the dates are wrong is I am going to cover the dates using these little dot stickers. These are from the Mega Pack um, that was at Joann's, that big book that was at Joann's. I love these little dots. They're probably my favorite sticker right now. I use them for all kinds of things and I love them. So I'm just going to cover the dates and then redate it. This is a way to redate your planner if you're someone who maybe has old planners laying around and you want to make use of them. The, the dates in the mini sticker are so, or the mini planner are so small that it's super easy to just do that and redate them. So now I'm going to grab my tiny little pen and I'm going to redate these with a fine tip pen. Is that right? 24? Yes. All right. So now that is redated. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cover this box down here on the bottom. And by the way, I chose those colors because I'm using these florals. And so those colors matched. So I'm going to pull out the mini wrong, wrong sticker book. It's got box stickers and I want to cover this bottom box because I never use this bottom box for what they have there. It's just not, it's just not how I use my planner. So I like to cover it up with one of these long boxes. These boxes are typically just a little bit short. And so I'm gonna grab this pink washi. And if you lay one of these boxes here and then you use the pink washi, it fits perfectly. in that space. And then you can use an X-Acto knife to trim it off. All right, so now I have that covered. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this big old floral sticker. These floral stickers are from the Farmhouse Sticker Book. And the reason I have them separated is because somebody sent me these, which was super nice of her. And I was like hoarding them and then I was like, Heather, quit hoarding the stickers and use them. So I'm going to put that one there and just let it take up a lot of space. And then I'm going to, let's take this long skinny one. And we're going to let it take up a lot of space over here. Now it's covering up two of those holes. So before I put this back in the planner, I will need to repunch those holes to make it fit. I just love florals going off the page. I think that's my favorite design is when your floral bleeds off your page. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put the extra from that sticker down here in the corner. All right. Then 
I'm going to go over this one. And I'm going to lay this one up here in this corner. Then I'm going to take these little extras and I'm going to add them down here. All right, I will probably, or I might add more florals, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause from the florals and I'm going to go back to this wrong, wrong sticker book. And I'm going to put some box stickers in a few spots. So we also have some cute checklist stickers. So like here is a yellow checklist sticker. We could place this here. Then I'm going to take this yellow box and I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to, I don't really like the purse and the get it girl. So as I'm flipping through, I'm going to look for a sticker like this that matches the colors and cover that up. All right. And then I have this sticker says today. And I'm going to place it here, covering up some of that floral. All right, that's probably enough yellow stickers for now. So let's move on to the blue. See if we have anything from the blue section. I'm going to put a checklist sticker there. I'm going to take this green Don't Forget sticker. And I'm going to layer that like so. Now that purse is still peeking out just a little bit. So I wonder if I could take this Today sticker and line it up like that. Then it says, today, don't forget. Then I'm going to take this pale blue and I'm going to place it over here. All right, let's go to the next section. We've got pink. I'm going to take the pink checklist sticker and I'm going to line it up here. And then I'm going to take this pink box, lay it over here. And then take this important sticker do the same thing by layering that there and then I can go back to maybe that yellow section layer it like that's kind of crooked and actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sticker back I'm not going to use that one what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out that Joanne's book that I was talking about earlier where those circles came from and there are page flags and I'm thinking one of these page flags will actually be big enough
to cover that purse without having that big old sticker. And so here I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to take this one off. And then I'm going to take a blue one and basically do the same thing. All right, I think that's perfect. I love it. It looks great. So I'm gonna re-punch these holes, put it back on my discs, and we'll be good to go. That was a super easy spread. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and happy planning.